Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video. So today we are doing a little bit of an experiment involving one of my favourite mods, the Relationship and Pregnancy Overhaul mod. This is a mod that I always have in my game, just enhances gameplay when it comes to, well, pretty much everything. Pregnancy, woohoo, cheating, makeups, break, relationships, breakups, adoption, all sorts of things. And today we're going to be looking at the possibility of carrying a child for another sim. So I have quite a small family living in this house. You might recognize it. It's the same house I used for Bella Goth's imposter. And living here we have a young couple, Garrett and Erica. Erica is a young adult and her adult mother also lives with them. Her name is Jennifer. And what I'm hoping we're going to do today is find out whether a family member, specifically a parent, can carry a child for their child, you know? Can Jennifer carry her own grandchild as a surrogate? So first things first, Erica, maybe it might be a good idea to visit the doctor to evaluate fertility and health risks. This has all sort of come about because Erica and Garrett have been together for a while and uh, they they want nothing more than to have children. They both have the family-oriented trait. Oh, in fact, you can see there she's got the infertile trait, so maybe it's a waste of time going to the doctor. But, you know, perhaps once we have it confirmed. And Jennifer, I think just for good measure, it would probably be a good idea to have your fertility checked as well. I haven't really played too much with the surrogacy aspect of this mod, so that's what kind of inspired this video. I'm hoping that I'll start to see some some interactions between the two because I know that you can carry a baby for another sim. I'm wondering whether there might be like conversations between the the two women where one of them can ask the other to carry a baby for them. Okay, this may be difficult to hear. I'm terribly sorry to announce that it seems you are infertile. If you hope to have children of your own, I know these news are devastating, yet I want to remind you that other options exist. You could look into surrogacy, in vitro or even adoption if or when you're ready. Okay, I think this is meant to be for you, but it's got Erica's name under it. You're a lucky one. It would seem that you're unlikely to encounter any issues during pregnancy and that you would be able to give birth as well. You seem to be extremely fertile. Be sure to be extra careful if you don't want a pregnancy. Okay, so now that we know, as Erica, now that we know that we're infertile, is it possible to ask? Okay, no, we can ask if she wants grandchildren, but we can't just ask her directly. Which would be quite nice if we had the option. Yeah, we'd love to have grandchildren. It'd be nice to have the option to ask her to h carry a baby for us. But what we could do, perhaps, as a couple, is we could, well, first of all, announce being infertile. Just let him know. He's going to be devastated because he's family oriented as well. But perhaps we could, um, so we have fertility options here, pregnancy and family. Ask him if he wants children. Is there an option for me to let him know? Discuss carrying a baby for another. Discuss having a baby through a surrogate. Okay, yeah, he said he, he agrees. He would like to have children. So we could, you know, perhaps bring up the option of having a surrogate. Yeah, it sounds good. Garrett is open to having a surrogate baby. So even though they're happy to have a baby through a surrogate, can she offer to have a baby for them? No, I don't think so. So I'm thinking if I want to have her have the mum carry a baby, if it's even possible, which I think it might be, it might just have to be through her alone if I go to um, carry a baby for another sim. I, I'm hoping that I'll get a pop-up offering me a sim to choose from. I think it all goes through an agency, but hopefully I can choose to give my baby to Erica. Oh, I just got everyone pop up now. Okay, let's see if we can find our child. Maybe there's something in the, the mod that blocks it from being a family member. Maybe it can't be someone we already know. Yeah, she didn't come up on the list, so maybe maybe we've got our answer. Maybe it's not possible. Have a baby through a surrogacy agency. Will this give me the option, though, to choose our mum? No, she's not coming up as an option. Maybe it's just not possible, then. I guess, alternatively, what we could do, if it works... So we can't carry a baby for another sim, which was my preferred option, because then I think you can use, like, the egg and sperm from other people. 
Let's see, if you register with the agency, maybe she'll pop up. I'm going to get the mum to register. If she doesn't pop up, then maybe we'll try artificial insemination. But then that's more to have a baby for ourselves, isn't it? Not necessarily to have a baby for someone else. But let's see, Jennifer. Register yourself. She's now registered. Okay. So it'd be interesting to see if there's a family block as to why we can't see her. Have baby through surrogacy. Yeah, she still hasn't popped up. Maybe it's because she's in the same household? I wonder. So there doesn't seem to be an option at all, but what if I move Jennifer out of the house? Maybe it's because they're in the same house. Okay, let's try that. So Jennifer's moved somewhere else in Willow Creek. Let's see if that makes any difference. So we'll have a look at the... Yeah, okay, she's still not popping up, even though she is listed as someone. Could it just be that played sims, played households can't carry a baby for another sim? I'm sure I've done it before where I had a sim carry a baby for another family, but I think that was through like adoption. Oh yeah, okay. I think I figured it out. So I had to play as the mother in a different lot. And I think she's gone now to go and carry a baby for another sim. I guess she's gonna go be inseminated, but I'm not sure whether she'll be inseminated with um, Erica's husband's ingredient or whether it will just be a random sim but I guess we'll see maybe it's because it would cause a glitch if she lived in the same house I guess because once you have the baby you have to send it to the other household so maybe if she lived in the same house it would just glitch out because the baby wouldn't really be teleporting anywhere it would just be staying in the same home maybe that's what the problem was Okay, well, we're obviously going to be staying here for a while, so I'm just going to place down a, a house for us instead of just an empty plot of land. Oh, we're back. Jennifer should take a pregnancy test to see if the insemination has worked. Okay, yeah, we will. Sure we will. Take a pregnancy test, girl. Could that be your little grandbaby in there? I guess we'll see. I guess it won't tell me who the biological father is. Hey, we're pregnant! Okay, fine. Surrogate pregnancy trimester one. Jennifer is carrying a baby for another sim. Hopefully the pregnancy will go well. Okay, should we get, um, sh should we get Erica over here and we'll tell her, we'll let her know that all went well and that she's got a baby on the way? Here she is. Okay, let's start by becoming best friends. I feel like that's only appropriate once you sacrifice your body twice for the same child. Can I, like, share big news? Oh yeah, look! She's our daughter, also carrying a baby for Erica. Ah, I don't have any new interactions here though. I don't... I'm not seeing the option to share big news. Could it be because it's not actually, like, our baby? Yeah, I don't have the option to share big news. But what if I put us in our second trimester, then she could hold the baby maybe? Oh, we're having a girl. Yeah, she could feel our stomach. Unless just all of the, like, baby interactions disappear if it's not your own baby oh invite to feel baby there we go and then maybe what we'll do is uh, we'll send erica home and then perhaps we'll switch over to her household just to see if they have any mood buffs they might not everything might only play out for the sim who's like actively being controlled but it would be interesting to see if she is i mean we're a bit tired anyway so maybe erica can go home we'll go get some sleep Oh, I guess that selfish bitch has taken the bed, so I guess the pregnant one will sleep on the couch. Yeah, we'll hop over to Erica's household and see if she has any mood buffs about the whole situation. Let's go. Oh, there is some mood buff here. Found a surrogate. The agency for has found someone willing to carry Erica's child. Oh, brilliant! Okay, so she, she does have that happy mood buff. Okay, and that's pretty much it. There aren't really any social interactions between the two of them. I mean, these sims have already agreed to their surrogacy, so I guess there aren't any interactions until, well, until the next pregnancy, I guess. So on that note, I think we'll head back to the mother and um, see what happens when we have the baby. Oh, this mood buff is interesting. It's a little strange as this pregnancy advances and Jennifer's hormones and instinct occasionally push her to think of the baby or bond with the idea of it, but she must not as this will not be her baby. Nothing that she did not nothing that she did not expect, but still. Well, you can bond with it. It's your grandchild. I don't actually know if it's genetically your baby though. Well, yeah, obviously it is. I mean, I just don't know genetically if she's the mother. Let's go to pregnancy. Partner Garrett Milton. So he is the dad. So I wonder whether it's his 
So I wonder whether it's him and the mother's egg or him and Erica's egg. I'm going to guess it's Erica's probably. Okay, let's just put you in labour and see what happens when we have this babe. I'll get you a little bassinet, don't worry. I mean, we may as well just have the baby in the garden. It doesn't really make much difference. It's going to be sent away as soon as we have it anyway. Come on, Jen. You can do it. Will we get to name it? I guess so. I mean, because we're family and we know the family that the baby's going to, I guess they probably would have discussed it. Yeah, we'll get to name the baby. Okay, uh, we'll call her Nora. Erica and Garrett had a baby. Oh, so it is Erica's egg. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, that's good. That would have stopped this being <laughs> complicated. Now that Jennifer's surrogate pregnancy is over, she must remember to send the child to its waiting parents. Yeah, yeah, I will. Let me just check. Okay, yeah, so Nora is granddaughter and she is in our family tree. Aww. Right, well, I guess we better send you to your parents then. Decide to keep child. You can't really do that if it's not your egg. Send the child to their parents. Oh, we just earned 8,000 simoleons for that. I didn't know you could get paid. I think that might be an American thing. I don't think you're allowed to get paid for it in the UK. Have noticed the baby is still here, though. Maybe I'll just quickly go to Manage Worlds. She's no longer in the bottom panel, so I think maybe she's just... Maybe it's a glitch. So who do we have here? Yeah, okay, the baby has moved to the Noir household. Although it looks like they both have babies. Um, that's not good. Have we had two babies? I don't know, but either way, I'm going to move the mother back into the house. It looks like this baby might have been duplicated. Uh, okay. All right, well, let's just... I, I'm just going to quickly pop in here and see if that baby's still there. Because that might be quite the, quite the glitch. Not really what my surrogate mother signed up for. Yeah, the baby is there. Okay, right. So I guess we'll go into the other household and see what the situation is there then. Okay, they don't have a baby. Right, okay. So for whatever reason, it just didn't work sending the child over. But I'm pretty sure the child is still... Well, I know the child is still recognised under the correct parents. So that's fine. A little bit annoying means I have to manually move the baby in, but it's fine. It hasn't actually ruined the family tree, I don't think. There she is. Okay, she's in the correct house and she has the correct family tree. Okay, perfect. Well, we started this video with a question. Can a Sim carry their own grandchild? And uh, I think we've answered it. A little bit of a faff, but we got it done. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.